Well, that stuff was kind of going on and has been kind of going on in the background and it's just, you know, it's disheartening and it's discouraging and stuff. So, and I'm a pretty, I know this is cheese ball, but I wear my heart on my sleeve. So, and that's why I got that A little that bit there. of cheese. Yeah, it's a little bit of cheese, but it's, you know, this is at least Parmesan. Um, but mm. it, uh, and Parmesan's pretty good though, right? Parmesan's way it's good. It's not Limburger. It's not like some like stinky cheese. Regular like American cheese. I like American, obviously, but American cheese is kind of shit. It's not real cheese. No, it's gross. It's processed. Yeah, exactly. It's like a craft single. The, the American it, cheese is a craft single. Oh yeah. So then there we go. But what is American cheese? Uh, processed. Look crap? it up, actually. I don't what, know. What is? What is American cheese? What, what is it made out is of? American is it actually cheese? cheese? Guys. Watch. It's gonna say cheese product. But what is a cheese product? My dad just sent me a text message, uh, obviously a picture that says, looks familiar, and I'm like, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole right now during the podcast, but... It's another naked picture of you? Hey, you definitely have had some kombucha. <laughs> it's really uh, tasty. What is it? Uh, what was I just... American what? cheese. American cheese. What is American cheese? I can't type... What is American cheese? It's the third thing. Modern American cheese is a type of processed cheese made from cheddar, Colby, or similar cheeses. It is mild with a creamy and salty flavor, has a medium firm consistency, gross, and has a low melting point. It can be yellow or white in color. Yellow American cheese is seasoned and colored with a knot hole. So it is real. I guess. What's the fake cheese? Anyways. I don't know. That so, me. basically. I don't eat it. This is obviously going to be a squirrel moment podcast. Oh, we have some, I have some funny things to say. Yes, exactly. Uh, so, anyway, so I wear my heart on my sleeve, so, um, where was I? Just saying, it's been a week for you, just yeah. dealing with, um, just some internal, emotional Yeah, and it's, things. it's one of those things where, uh... Me as a person, I, uh, and I know I'm not perfect, I'm human, and I don't always actively listen, and I don't always, you know, uh, do my part in that, but I, I try, I try my hardest to be a part of conversations and pay attention to people and do all that, and it's, and it seems like a, a lot of times, and it's not, you know, it's not just one person, um, I feel like that, uh, with, with certain things, and, you know, it's, it, it's obvious. It's me overreacting and me, you know, you know, having what was it delusions of grandeur and like thinking that all these things are a lot, you know, more extra than they than they really are. But it's you know, it like it it just compounds with different things, and then you know you feel kind of you know isolated and you know on an island and uh, and not obviously Epstein Island. <laughs> And obviously, I'm not uncomfortable about this all because I'm not fidgeting the whole time I'm talking about this. But, you know, it's it's something that everyone, I think everyone goes through. And I think it's something, you know, that I just wanted to bring up. You know, like, it, everyone goes through a lot of shit and everyone deals with it differently. And I think that, um, you know, being married and being in a relationship, it's a big, uh, it's a big, uh, what's, uh, what's the fucking word I'm looking for? Um, it is, oh, it's a big, ob it's an obligation for the person that you're with to, you know, have something, you know, to try and, to try and help or try and at least talk about it. And I believe it's on, I don't think obligation is the right term. I don't, I don't mean it. I think. I don't mean it as obligation, no. but that's the word that um, came first. In my opinion, and that's an, it's also going back to like kind of a cue of whether you're with the right one or not is do you think that your significant other is going to be your partner in crime or be there always to support you with everything? Yeah. Because if you feel like you don't have someone there um, to be on your side and to listen um, or to give advice, then, you know, then then you're not with the right yeah. one. Like, you need to be able to feel... Like, if you're upset with the world but you can be at home with the other person and and whether you're talking it out or just sitting in silence with them, um, then, you know, you know you're with the right person. Yeah. If you're having that comfort. And with me, and the, I think the thing, too, is being... 
um, is being able to talk with the other person, being able to like feel comfortable enough to say something. Like the way that I am is, and you know, uh, know this obviously, is the way that I am is if we get a little cranky with each other, a little pissy, you know, no matter who's right or who's wrong or what the situation is, I I know that I overreact to things and I am good at, I'm good in, I, my mouth is good at getting me in trouble by saying dumb things that I either, that I either don't mean or I say them in the wrong way because I, I just get out, like, hard on the sleeve. I just get out whatever I feel. So I try and walk away. I try and walk away from the room, woo-saw, smoke bowl, do whatever I need to to just, okay, rethink the situation, make sure that I'm not being an asshole, or if I am, if it's somewhat justified. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, sometimes you got to be an asshole. That sometimes you got to be an asshole to get your point across, and that sucks. But you know, just like with situation, if I, it, you know, that I, you know, I've been going through that I'm not fully going to get into. <laughs> but just like that situation, if I don't put my foot down and I don't tell someone the way that I feel, they're going to continue to do that, and it might not be their fault at all because they they just don't know that 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 I feel that certain type of way. So. I'm pretty honest when it comes to it. I'm pretty upfront. Again, it might take me a second to go walk off and go cool off, but I will be upfront about it. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, because again, then I can't get mad at you or whoever the person is for acting a certain way that I don't like that they might not notice that they're doing or they might, they don't know that I don't appreciate, mm-hmm. you know? So that then, then it's not fully on them. Then it's on me. And so, and you have to like, a lot of times nowadays you have to like, especially with, let me, I said two different fucking sentences at the same time. A lot of times nowadays people don't have accountability and they don't, they aren't accountable for their own actions in the situation. You know, they're not, they don't, they won't sit there and realize like, oh, hey, like I might be fucking up and how can I, what am I doing in this situation to make it worse or make it better? And so, sorry, a burp was coming up, helping me uh, stop that whole rant. But basically what I'm saying is you have to you have to have communication and be upfront and be honest don't be a fucking dick about it but be honest with the person that you're with that so they know where you're coming from like with me feeling the way feeling alone and isolated and in my own head about stuff and feeling that way i told you about it and because you're you're, it's good right it's good Mm -hmm. for me to talk to you about it and i personally didn't get the response that i wanted I wanted some like, oh, it's okay, babe. Like, I just, I, I wanted. Obviously, I knew it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't super crazy. It was just me and my feelings. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But me being in my feelings, uh, hey, uh, you didn't respond, and I understand your point because you didn't know what to say, and I yeah. get that. But you didn't respond, and. That made me a little more pissy just because it wasn't the response that I wanted. And I know that's not on you. I know that's on me, too. You know, it's it's fully on me. But so I got pissy. I walked away. <laughs> it was You're like, literally talking uh, to someone who is half asleep on the couch. Yeah. And no, so I was I like, I don't even I don't even know how to respond. In my head, I'm like, this is awkward. I don't know what to say right now. Yeah. That's and, literally and, what was going through my head. So I get it, and I understand it, but, like, like now, but I didn't want right a generic away. response. I'm like, oh, it'll be okay. Like, yeah. I, I can't stand when people do a generic response. So I was like, okay, that's stupid. I so in my head, I was going through all these things. I can't stand it either, but sometimes that generic response, sometimes it does work. Okay. No matter what. And I'm not saying just for me. I'm just saying generally. Yeah. You know, like, if you're HR, you know that sometimes just like, oh, if that sucks, I feel you. Yes. Sometimes it works. And I think that's why I didn't want to say that because in my job. You didn't job, want me to, to that, think you were that HR. That is my thing. Me. Like, because, you know, I'm there to be uh, someone's shoulder. Like, if they need to complain yeah. or they're just having a tough yeah. time and need to talk. You know, like, so you just let them talk it out. I, yeah, yeah like I get that's, that. That's me. Like, no. I'm there. I, I help with um, all the employee relations and. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that I, I, I'm feeling the like. Yeah, 
Um, you know, and that's I'm one of the that's one of the reasons why right I now. like my job. <laughs> yeah. Because I like that people feel comfortable enough to mm-hmm. come to me. Yeah. To discuss come something. To butt it. Sorry. <laughs> like maybe they're having a tough time at home. I've had people yeah. that have just come in and you know it had nothing to do with work, but they're like. I just need someone to talk to you right now yeah. because I'm having a really tough day at work mm-hmm. and I'm about ready to break down and I I need to talk it out. And I'm like, cool. Close the door. Yeah. Talk it out. Tell me what's wrong. Tell yeah. me what's going on. You know, so I'm a therapist too. <laughs> I mean, I told you that's what HR is. Yeah, you're there is. to help the employees. Exactly. You're, you're there to help them succeed. Yeah. And, you know, a big part of succeeding at your work is succeeding at home and your personal life. So yeah. if someone's dealing with... Because we all bring personal to work. We all do. Yeah. Because we're human. Exactly. It's so, you know, and so I see it on a daily basis. So I was not very HR with you last night, and I feel bad. No, I and, and but at the same time, you, you didn't, un, you, you were half asleep. I, like, I understand that. I, again, like coming from afterwards and real and sitting there and seeing it and then after we had talked which which was what I was getting to us basically I walked away because I was pissy and I didn't get the response I was already pissy then didn't get the response that I wanted from my wife which I figured I would at least get so then that's that made made me more pissy so I walked away instead of like ah, uh, you know walk away woosa count backwards from 10 fucking don't Kyle it out you did, punch you a wall, did your whatever. laundry fucking <laughs> I don't know if you gotta go fucking jerk it do whatever you do I'm Jesus. saying if you gotta like go and calm your face whatever your woosa is whatever it is go and do that and I'm not saying like go oh, if your woosa is like murdering people or yeah, like we're doing, not we're not advocating that, that. We're, with, Healthy within, and safe. Exactly. And within <laughs> law, limits of laws. Um, but, you know, walk away, take your time, and then re- think about what you're doing and think about what you're saying, what you really feel, and make sure that what you're saying, because it's your person, it's your significant other, it's that person that you're going to have till you die. And I think, uh, you know... Uh, but real quick, before... Sorry, real, real let me... I'm speaking... Okay, Kamala. <laughs> Squid. Squidward. Squidward. Squidward? I don't What's know. It? This kombucha's uh, got me all messed up right now. I no, know. No, but basically what I was what I was trying to say is is uh like rewinding. Uh, Before you went to Camel Toe. Yes, exactly. So uh, I was speaking. That's where it came. That, mm. Okay, there we go. I gotta connect the dots here. Um but yeah, no, I, uh, once I woosawed for a second, I came back in and I was like, hey, babe, like I was cranky and I was pissy and then you didn't say anything. And I didn't say like, what the fuck, bitch? You didn't fucking say anything. I didn't say it like that. I was like, hey, babe, I'm just trying to come at you honest and not from a place of anger and not from a place of like that. I, like, I, to be honest, I might be a little bit frustrated and I like I have my feelings about it, but I'm not close minded about it enough to like ca- talk to you about it. Mm-hmm. And so I just I know that you won't uh, understand where I'm coming from unless I tell you about it. Yeah. So I said this like when I told you the way that I feel, I the way that I feel, the way that I words, the way that I felt, I was hoping that I would get a, oh, that sucks, babe, like, it's okay, like, some, just something, and I got nothing back, and that, like, triggered me. No, but that, like, you know what I mean? That that made me, like, oh, uh, like, even more, so I walked away because I didn't want to take out my personal perception of the situation, which probably wasn't the way you were coming off. You weren't trying to be a bitch about it and not fucking say anything, but my taking from it was like what the fuck and so i walked away because i knew that it wasn't my like it that was my perception that Mm -hmm. wasn't anything that was real so i walked away but i was just saying hey if that happens next like because i'll have my man period again like just give me a little bit of something and it'll make me feel better you know just like you would yeah right there (laughs) but you know, just just like if you ask me, like, hey, you know, when it's my time, uh, 
Uh, when that what was that? Uh, flow. Oh my god. When amp flows in town. Um, I don't know. Is that a better one? What's the, what's the best? I don't one? know. Immediately, what came to mind was cherry bomb. <laughs> What are you talking about? I don't so, know. They're talking about cherry pie. Is that what they're talking about when they're talking about? <sighs> uh, All right. But no. anyways, when it when it, if there's something that you don't like that I do or this or whatever, and then especially during that time, you get extra frustrated, extra irritable. I will. Am You're I making like, me like squeamish right yeah, now? Yeah, but I'm saying that if you ask me about that and you tell me about it, then I'll know and I won't do it. You know. So that's why I was coming. <clears throat> At you with that. Uh, because I just wanted to make sure that we were on the same page and I didn't want to have this rift and I we probably talked about it, about it before, but we don't go to bed angry. Yeah. We don't go to bed mad. Like, we still had that conversation and, you know, not every conversation, even if you communicate correctly, is going to, you know, turn out well. You're still going to have differences of opinion or whatever. So, you know, I was like, okay, good night. And then I walked out of the room. And then five seconds later, walked back in like, hey, babe, I'm sorry. I know, and it made me laugh. That's why I was like, Yeah, you I'm immediately sorry. laughed, and I was like, fucking asshole. <laughs> like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just funny, because, like, the way you, like... Shut the door. And then... Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> no, I mean, and it's it's a big thing with me, because, like... And, you know, that's another... That's a, kind of one of the reasons why I was, like, why well, I'm getting fucking deep in the way I feel for some... This is fucking kombucha. Cheers. Um, but, uh, but Should yeah. we, like, bring out the yoga mats? And, like, I, I don't those? know. Where's, like, where's the poof? Um, damn it. <laughs> but, no, I mean, sometimes you gotta, you gotta just express your, your shit. I don't know. I, I, I was going to go somewhere with that, but then express I lost yourself. it. I lost it. It was just kombucha. <laughs> Um, all right, so before we get into the next little thing, let's uh, let's take a little break. Yeah? Yeah, sounds you good. You good with that? All right, cool. We'll just chug the rest of this real quick. Yeah, <laughs> What's going on, guys? You just watched a clip of the Till Death podcast. We have a bunch of full episodes, some vlogs, and some other cool shit. Go ahead and subscribe right on down here. Or look over here. We got one. We got two. More delightful videos for you to see. They're just ready for you right there. Autoplay might just play one of our videos anyways. So, uh, bye.